Hey everyone, Value Add Mike here today to discuss how to analyze a rent roll in multifamily. For those who don't know, my name is Mike Taravella, Value Add Mike. I've closed over $65 million in commercial real estate, specifically in the multifamily sector with me and my partners. And today I wanted to discuss how I analyze one of the most important documents in commercial real estate, and that is the rent roll. So the rent roll is a document that lists all of the residents, their move-in dates, their move-out dates, when the leases expire, what their rent charges are, and the balance due. And the three things that I really analyze when looking at a rent roll is first, how many units are on the rent roll? There's a lot of times where you could look at the last number of the sequence and assume that's the rent, how many units there are, but sometimes there could be omitted units or you hear weird kooky things about unit. there's no unit 13. So when looking at a rent roll, I highlight all the rows that I have units and make sure I verify that the offering memorandum matches how many units are on the rent roll. Also, it's super important to understand how many units are down due to fires or other natural disasters or any other things that could happen in property management, which could be a handful. But first, it's important to know how many units that you have when analyzing a property. The second most important thing that I look at is how many of the total units that I have are vacant. So it's super important when looking at the understanding how many vacants there are, because if you're qualifying for agency loans, you have to be at least physically 90% occupied for 90 days. So if you think about it, you're going into, if you're looking at an investment that's 80% occupied, but the operator that you're looking at is qualifying for agency debt, there may be a discrepancy and you have to confirm with your operator the assumptions but also making sure that you ha hit that requirement for agency loans. Also, it's super important if the, if the vacance is really high, you may be looking at bridge debt and community debt options because they're more forgiving on that 90 for 90 rule. Uh, so it's just important that you understand how heavy a of a lift that you're investing in before you go through it. So the rent roll can kind of give peaks to that. And so it's just important that you understand how your team is going to operate the property, but also the marketing behind it as well. So you can reduce that vacancy and increase your occupancy. And the last thing that is super critical when looking at the rent roll is how many units are not paying. So I've seen a lot of many rent rolls that may have the balance due column omitted, but it's super important that if you don't have a balance due column in your rent roll, that you follow up with your operator and see if they have a delinquency report. Because the last thing you want to do is take over a property that doesn't have strong collections and that you have to operate this property at a deficit when you first take on. Because there's a lot of work when taking over a property. And the last thing you want to do is have most of your residents not paying, even though it's physically filled. So... Those are the three things I look at is number of units, how many units are vacant, and last but not least, how many residents are not paying. So if this video gave you any, added any value to your investing career, please like, comment, subscribe, and um, any qu questions, please put them in the comments. I'm happy to help in your investing journey. Also, make sure to follow, click the link in the description to make sure that you sign up for our newsletter and investor updates. And until then, we will see you next time.